round two, fight. see for the title today we are doing my tinted moisturizers roundup I did my foundations if you're interested I will put it up in the eye cards you guys know I'm trying to play catch up with a lot of things so I am here to share with you guys my tinted moisturizers is not that many but I do have some that I want to explain to you guys show you guys and I do have some ties as well for this um so I want to share with you guys so if you're interested stay tuned <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, I have one, two, three, four, five, five of them, five categories or five positions, I should say, because one of them is a double. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the first one. This one, Clinique Even Better uh, Foundation is at the bottom of the barrel. This was gifted to me. This was not something I purchased or necessarily would have seeked out to get it, but I will say that I do like it. I do like it because it's, it's sheer, it's runny. And it mixes so well and so beautifully with all of the foundations that I have. Whether I want to sheer something out, thicken it, it doesn't add too much of coverage, which I appreciate because I necessarily don't want to add coverage to some of my foundations, my full coverage foundations. I just want to sheer it out. And this works great as a mixer. I do like it on its own. I don't love it on its own because it is pinkier toned. So it kind of makes me look a little flushed in the summertime. So I mainly use it in the uh, winter time with some of my more full coverage, more mattifying foundations that I have. So I'm happy that I got it. Um, if I were to get a free gift again from Ulta, I would choose it just to use it as a mixer. So I'm happy that I have it, but I wouldn't seek out to purchase it by myself. Number four goes to this one. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. This is a tinted moisturizer from Estee Lauder. And let me tell you, for it being a sheer, of uh, tinted moisturizer again it's runny but it has more coverage than the Clinique one and it suits me better when I wear this it looks so nice it looks like a tinted moisturizer it looks like I just perfected my skin but it doesn't look like I have a ton of makeup on I really like it I do like it. It actually, for a tinted moisturizer, has pretty good coverage on it. It's runny. It's a squeezy tube. I do like it. This is something that I would repurchase. I would get this as a tinted moisturizer. I would. I would. I wouldn't mind this one. This is really, really nice. I dig it. I dig it. It works well. It lasts on my skin, and it's not super glowy. Tinted moisturizer. Moisturizer. Why can't I say that word? Moisturizer that is not super glowy. So for me, that's amazing in the summertime because I want something that's gonna stay put, sheer, but not glowy. So, well, sometimes I do like the glow, sometimes I don't need the glow. Speaking of the glow, the number three spot goes to this one. Surprisingly, I'm shocked at how much I do like this one, honestly. This is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow SPF 40. This was gifted to me, and I wouldn't have picked this on my own if it wasn't a gift. And I will tell you, I love this in a winter time. I love this in the fall. I think it gives me such a beautiful, healthy glow. It's coverage but it's not a lot of coverage. Same thing with the Estee Lauder. It's coverage, but a not, not a ton of coverage where it's like heavy coverage, but it does cover and it gives such a beautiful glow. I can pair this with like a mattifying primer, a mattifying setting powder, and it just looks beautiful even in the summertime. It Cosmetics, I dig this, I dig this. The glow that this gives me is this beautiful radiance, like this healthy, young, radiant glow to this. I, I'm telling you, I'm surprised at how much I enjoyed this. I would get this again. I would because there's days in the winter time where it is so cold out and I don't want to wear something heavy and this is perfect. I've always wanted something that's glowy but not oily and this even in the summer, like right now, if I've worn this and it doesn't make me look greasy it makes me look glowy i can blot myself one time throughout the day and it still looks natural on the skin it looks natural and beautiful so yeah i would purchase this one this one i would purchase number three i just like this one a little bit more than the it cosmetics this is the nars pure radiant tinted moisturizer like 
If I could pick one tinted moisturizer, like tinted moisturizer, not something that's more coverage, this would be it. I really like this one a lot, a lot. I mean, like this is just, wow. It, uh, this doesn't give me as much glow as this one, but it's basically the same. And I think I like this one more because it doesn't give me as much glow as this one does. But I'm not faulting this one because it says new glow on it, so I get it. But this one, wow, love it, love it. I could wear this every day and be content. I really could, it's beautiful. This is something I would absolutely repurchase, have in my collection, really enjoy. I don't need to search for anything else. Anything that I've tried in both my foundation and my tinted moisturizer videos, I don't need to try anything new. I think I have found what I like in variety of uh, brands and finishes that I don't need to keep trying the newer stuff. I just like this, I like this a lot. It's coverage again, but not a lot. It doesn't look like you have makeup on, but you still can get coverage of where you want it to be. It lasts on the skin. It has SPF if you want it. I mean, like all these have SPF. Every single one of the tinted moisturizers I've spoken about have SPF. So these are not necessarily for a uh, night out on the town where you're taking photos. These are more for like daily things. You would just want to cover up a little bit, go somewhere and look presentable, but not too much. Like all of them. The Clinique has 15 SPF. Double Wear has 19 SPF. The It Cosmetics has 40. This one has uh, 30. So they all have SPF in them, which I appreciate. Not necessarily do I need, but it's there and I do like it. All right, for the number one spot goes to, I forgot how much I love them. It Cosmetics CC Plus. Okay, you guys, so here's the deal. These two, I feel like they're on par with one another. And I did read that in the reviews when I accidentally purchased the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage. I feel like both of these work the same um, with one exception. So they both have SPF 50. One is considered a foundation, one's considered a full coverage uh, correcting cream. But uh, the only difference that I notice is I feel like the It Cosmetics CC Plus is a little bit more of a natural finish than the Bye Bye Foundation. But other than that, I feel like they're both identical. I don't need to purchase one over the other. Some people preferred the Bye Bye Foundation because it was less glowy on the skin and more mattifying than the CC Plus. And I will say, I think that's the, the main difference between both. If you're gonna choose one or the other, I would say, do you want one that's a little bit more mattifying or do you want one that has a little bit more of a natural finish to it that'll give you like a little bit of radiance? And personally for me, I, I'm gonna stick to my CC Plus. I, I love it. Both of them give me the same full coverage. I feel like both of them last the same on my face. Neither one of them I can say works better than the other. It's just my preference. I personally like a natural finish over a mattifying finish. And this one I can use all year round because it gives me that natural finish. Not too much of a mattifying finish like this one because this one I feel like I won't be able to wear it too much in the winter time because it'll be too drying on my skin. It'll look too dry and cakey on my skin. So that's why I would choose this one over it. But if you're going to compare both of these, that's the main difference between both of them that I felt is one is a little bit more mattifying than the other. That's it. But if I'm gonna choose a tinted moisturizer, I forgot. You guys, I've gone through, I think, three tubes of this. This is like my fourth tube. I, f I realize why now I keep repurchasing this. And I don't, and I said it when the last, I think because I was using this one back to back to back, I got tired of it and that's why I didn't repurchase it. But now that I have it back in my life, I'm just like, ooh, I love you. I remember why I loved you so much because you you're good. You're good, you're good. So I would say out of both of these, I'm gonna stick to my CC, but they're both identical. Like I don't see a major difference between both where I would say one topples over the other in a lot of categories. Now it's just that the different finishes, that's all that it really is. All right, you guys, that's all. That is all of my foundations and tinted moisturizers, as you guys can see. I would definitely find, uh, like I did with my foundations, my top three that I'm going to purchase would actually be these three, yes. I would have my It Cosmetics, my NARS, and then a glowy one, I really would. I would actually like to purchase this one as well. Like these would be my top four and these would be the four that I would stick to forever. Like I don't, I don't think I would buy this one again and I wouldn't pick this one on my own again. These would be the ones that I would stick to as far as tinted moisturizers. I love them all. They all have a different purpose in my life. All of my foundations have a different purpose in my life. Not every day do I want glamour. Not every day do I want a sheer look. Not every day do I even want to wear a foundation. You guys, I'm not wearing any of these on my face today. 
That's how lazy I got today. <laughs> Any of these on my face today and I'm okay with that. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know that I am trying to play catch up considering all the technical difficulties that I've had. I've mentioned that before and I wanted to share these with you guys. So then you guys are aware of which ones I liked, which ones I don't. I still have a ton of other products that I have to follow up with you guys on. Um, But yeah, I do love these. I, I'm having fun with my complexion. It's a lot of fun. I do have a ton, but I do wear makeup often, so it works out in the end for me. So let me know in the comment section which one would be your favorite. Oh, and I didn't mention this in my foundations, but I will mention it now in case I didn't answer it if a comment comes up. The reason why I keep all of my foundations or my tinted moisturizers in their respective boxes is because I keep these on my vanity and my windows are right here. And again, the sun doesn't directly hit it ever, but just in case, I feel like if I keep them in their boxes, it deters from direct sunlight hitting them and making them go bad faster. So that's why I keep all of my foundations in their boxes and all of my tinted moisturizers in their boxes. Not because of aesthetic, because I'm anal or because I'm particular. It's mainly for to keep preserving them because that's where I keep them on top of my vanities. All right, you guys, that's all that I have. I will list these down in the description box just like I did with my foundations. Let me know which ones were your top favorites and I'll catch you guys in the videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, peace out.